Hi everyone, welcome back. So we are back for another episode of Playing With My Old Makeup. If you have no idea what I am talking about, every single week I do pull out a palette from this mug here and then do a look with that. So let's pull out this week's Masquerade. So this is the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place. So just to be completely honest, I do not know if I've ever used this palette. I know I've swatched it, but I don't think I've ever done like an actual look. And I think one of the things that really makes my mind kind of struggle with this palette is I absolutely love these like jewel tone shades here. They are so beautiful, but then there's like a lot of neutral. And then I don't really know what to do. So I'm going to do one of my eyes and then I will be back to show you how to do it. Holy cow, we are back after a very, very, very long time. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I really don't like this palette. I think it's old. Too old for one, and I just feel like it's not my current preference. So I did, you will see with the outer corner, I did end up including another shade. So I use a shade, this one here from the Scooby-Doo Glam Light Palette. One of my things that I'm really trying to do now is if I don't like the makeup, like I'm not gonna force myself to use it, if that makes sense. So I honestly gave it a real good go with this. I did still use some of the shades, which we will talk through. I didn't vibe. I tried really hard and I just didn't vibe with it. But anyways, enough talking. Let's delve on in. So to start out, I just took from Morphe. It's an E62 and I dipped into this shade. I think it's Giza. G-I-Z-A. I just added that to the inner corner of the eye or inner third of the eye. I'm gonna go and take some of the shade as well onto my brow bone. I'm also gonna take some of that same shade underneath the inner third of the eye. Next I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with the B1 brush from Blend Bunny and our Scooby Doo palette. This one is not labeled but it's just the really dark green. I'm gonna apply that to the outer corner, outer third of the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and take this random, don't judge, it's like super smushed. I was organizing some of my makeup today and I have a, like a bin of just random brushes and I'm like, why am I not using these? And I think they were just brushes that are like from collections like this one here from Sonia Kashuk that you can't get anymore. And I'm just not doing that anymore. Like, like I'm, I'm gonna use stuff that even if it's discontinued, you know, maybe you have it, maybe you don't, especially brushes. There are so many similar brush shapes out there that honestly, like, they're basically all the same. But anyways, I'm gonna go in with this brush. So again, like I said, it's a little kind of messed up, but it's just a fluffy kind of shading brush. I'm gonna dip in with the green one called Molly, M-A-L-I, Molly. Apply that to the center eyelid. I'm just gonna go in with this Sonia Cash look. It's like a big blending brush. Just buff out the edges. I'm gonna go back in a bit more with that deeper green, just to deepen up. I am just gonna use my normal Essence Silky Nude Eye Pencil for my waterline. I'm not gonna do liner because I just don't like feel like the look needs it. I am though gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and then apply my mascara, the Melt Supernatural. And that is the eyes. So blush, we are gonna go ahead and do that peachy shade here. For highlighter, I am super, super, super excited because if you did see my little video, I had to pull this out. So the Jeffree Star Mint Condition. No, I do not support Jeffree Star, but we are trying to use up our makeup. And this is actually a pretty good highlighter. So I'm taking my setting brush from Real Techniques that I love. Give me all the green, ooh. For lips, I'm gonna go in with my tried and true Milani Stay Put Eyeliner After Dark. For lips, I will be using my absolute love. I'm gonna be so sad when it is gone because this is a discontinued product from Color Brain, shade Jade. This is the finished look that I did today. I hope that you all like it. I'm sorry if I did not keep with the full of this palette. I am so curious to know what you all think. If you own this palette, let me know what you all think. I know it used to be super hyped up back in the day. Nicholas tutorials, I think, really started with this palette. I know other people really love this palette. I just, I just don't like it. I don't know. I'm just not vibing with it. And again, it is old, so do take that into consideration. I'm also trying to take that into consideration, but... I don't know, yeah. It's definitely not one that I would absolutely love to use, but for the shiny shades that I did, 
it does look really stunning. I, I do really think that this looks super pretty. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun stuff to help me get seen by more people. And yeah, I will see you on my next one. Okay, bye.